Psilocybin is a classical psychedelic compound. And so other drugs that live in that class are things like LSD and dimethyltryptamine, DMT. And so the psychedelic experience has been described in many different ways, but in general, what it means is an altered state of consciousness. And uh, also it's associated with a number of other things such as um, increases in our ability to think flexibly. So think in shades of gray. And also um, it's been associated with being able to form increasing neuronal connections across the whole brain. So integration of lots of different disparate ideas in the brain as well. So th there's a lot of problems, a lot of issues that people encounter in mental health that have a lot of underlying common features. When I talk about mental health, I mean things like depression, anxiety, um, and substance problems. So alcohol, nicotine, methamphetamine, etc. Historically, we've classed all of these things according to the substance or according to a group of features. So depression is just low mood, poor motivation, anxiety is, you know, feeling restless um, and a, a number of other features. However, fundamental underlying all of that is some very common features as well. So things like feeling disconnected. So feeling disconnected to yourself, feeling disconnected to the world, constant rumination thoughts. So thinking thoughts over and over again in a loop. So particularly negative thoughts about yourself and about the world, it's very common to depression and substance use disorders and difficulties thinking flexibly. So thinking in shades of gray rather than thinking in yes, no, black and white. And finally, difficulty putting yourself in other people's shoes. I think often when people are so distressed with things that are going on in their lives, their life experience, it's actually very difficult to understand sometimes how other people are feeling and thinking. And so it's shown that with psychedelics like psilocybin, they can actually help with a lot of these underlying fundamental commonalities to these problems. And that's why people use the term transdiagnostic when they're talking about problems where psilocybin might be actually helpful. So things like mood disorders, anxiety, depression, and substance use disorders, because they have all these underlying commonalities. So there's the psychological theories and there's really interesting brain imaging studies that support some of these theories. There's lots of um, different networks within the brain um, that influence um, you know, our brain activity. So um, a classic one that is involved with addiction, for example, is called the limbic circuit. And that's our reward circuit. Another one is uh, our executive control. So that's where we put our attention. But a lot of attention recently has been on something called the default mode network. And that's fascinating because actually it probably goes to the heart of possibly who we are or who we think we are or the ego. So the default mode network is distributed widely across the brain um, and is involved with self-perception. So what we think about ourselves and mental time travel. So thinking, projecting ahead, planning ahead and thinking back, remembering and remembering in the context of our values. And so you can see if you have an overactive default mode network that's disconnected from all the brain networks, you spend a lot of time thinking about yourself and ruminating about the future, stuck in the future or stuck in the past. And so what, what it's been shown with psilocybin and other psychedelics is that um, with neuroimaging studies, you've got overactivity in certain conditions like addiction, for example, or depression of the default mode network and under connection to other parts of the brain. And what happens when you have psychedelics is that um, the default mode network really quietens down and forms connections to all of the parts of the brain. We think that's part of the reason why it's helpful to break you out of a cycle of ruminations um, and to help you think more flexibly.